Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my holiday celebration. Today is day 18 of my Happy Mermaid yarn advent. Sorry for the background noise. There's quite a bit going on in the house today, but that's just part of having done so many videos for the month. Sometimes I need to do these when there's an activity going on. All right, so for today's holiday facts or tidbits of information, we are going to talk about leaving milk and cookies for Santa Claus. Now, originally the roots to this, and I've mentioned it, I think very early on in the month, it does go all the way back to Yule season when children would leave little gifts out like food, hay for Odin's eight-legged horse because they believed that Odin would be coming in with two ravens on his shoulders, flying behind his eight-legged horse. And the children hoped that by leaving small gifts for his horse, they would get small gifts in return. Well, Northern European countries continued to follow this tradition even after Christianity reached their nations. And in fact, Denmark, Belgium, and the Netherlands still believe that Santa is pulled by horses and not reindeer. For the United States, the first mention or historically documented time of children leaving milk and cookies for Santa goes back to 1896, when a little girl wrote into a magazine that was published for children way back then, and she mentioned that she and her brother were planning to leave the snack out in case their Christmas visitor, Santa Claus, needed a little treat in case he was hungry on his long night of going around the world delivering presents. It didn't really take off, though, until really the 1920s, 1930s. Speculation is that perhaps during the 1930s, when America was in the throes of a Great Depression, Parents were attempting to help teach their children the importance of giving, as well as just being thankful for whatever they did receive as a gift, because times were hard. Now, around the world, not everyone leaves milk and cookies. So I wanted to list off a few of the other options in other countries. In the United States, yes, traditionally it's milk and cookies. Sometimes carrots are left for the reindeer. Sometimes we leave a beer for Santa too, but in England and in Australia, they leave sherry and mince pie. In Sweden, they leave rice porridge. In Ireland, it's a Guinness and cookies, which some homes in the United States leave a pretty similar combination for Santa. In France, they leave a glass of wine and they fill their shoes with hay and carrots for Santa's donkey. And in Germany, they don't do snacks at all. Traditionally, they offer handwritten letters for Santa. Quite often today, these letters are actually mailed prior to Christmas. And in fact, Germany has six official addresses that children can send these letters to. Germany is quite a bit smaller than, say, the United States. So the fact that there are six official addresses kind of gives you an idea of how many children are writing letters to Santa. Some of them, though, do still leave their letters out on Christmas Eve night, and they're decorated with sparkles, and they're really made to look pretty and festive. So that is a little bit of the history of the milk and cookie tradition for Santa Claus that we leave out every Christmas Eve. All right, so let's dive into day 18. I cannot, I always, I always say I can't wait, but it's true. I can't wait. Every day, I cannot wait to see the new color. <laughs> So today, doo -doo -doo, I want to peek first before I show you guys. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, oh, it's a good one. I mean, they're all so good. <laughs> all right, so for today, of course, it is my mint, which, as you know, I love these things. It will be eaten just momentarily. Here is a single earring. Huh. Maybe it's meant to be a, um, maybe it's meant to be a stitch marker, but this is definitely an earring. Huh. Well, okay, so a single earring. 
just that's a little different okay um but that's all right the yarn is amazing look at this look we have browns and pinks oh what a gorgeous gorgeous combination and again you could choose between getting sparkle yarn with the stellina in it or you could opt for no sparkle i wanted sparkle and if you're brand new to this, it is 75% merino, 20% nylon, and 5% stellina, 87 yards, 20 grams. It is a two-ply fingering weight yarn, and very appropriately, they call this one peppermint cookies. Totally, this is peppermint cookies. That's awesome. You got just the tiniest little flecks of, like, green in here. You know, depending on the type of peppermint that you crush up to put in your peppermint cookies. This is really pretty. They are all just so pretty. Thank you, Happy Mermaid Yarn. You have certainly helped make this a truly festive and enjoyable holiday season. All right. Well, like I always say, please practice kindness. You don't know what anyone is going through. And especially around the holidays. Holidays tend to be really hard for some people. So just be kind to everyone around you. And I hope that you're showing the same kindness. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you again real soon.